Deputy Chief for Hoffman Estates. My family was in the fire service in Chicago. Uh, my cousin is also a firefighter for South Elgin, and his wife is a firefighter here, actually. And uh, I was really interested in helping um, people in need. I was pretty much raised in the firehouse for a little while. Obviously, helping people is, is in my DNA also. The best part of my job has probably been, I uh, think, of camaraderie, working with a lot of good people at the Elgin Fire Department, um, and being able to work together as a team to help the community. I think the most important part of the job is uh, maintaining a state of readiness. Um, the fire service is unpredictable from one moment to the next. I didn't realize, you know, how much went into it, how much, uh, how much patience you need to have with patients, and. Uh, just the things that you'll see. I mean, like I said, we see people at their worst time and they call us when they're having their worst day and uh, the first day on my ambulance was a real eye opener. It showed me how difficult the job can be but also how rewarding it can be. We run emergency medical calls, anything from a stubbed toe to a heart attack where someone's not breathing. It could be anything. It can be pretty stressful. Sometimes when things are going really bad, it looks like organized chaos. Um, for the patient, I'm sure at times it seems crazy when four different people are doing procedures all at once, but um, yeah, it's, it's generally pretty calm though. I don't know, just basically keeping a cool head, realizing that it's not your emergency and you can't freak out because then the patient freaks out too. Um, it's just about keeping a level head. So it's a lot of highs and lows and highs and lows, so that can take a really stressful part on your body and uh, on your mind as well too. That's probably one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get into the field. Uh, just being able to help people and, and uh, them turning around and say, hey, you know, thanks for coming. Because, you know, you call a three-digit number and, you know, when you have people five, six minutes away coming to help you out with whatever you need. Uh, but it was, you know, a lot of uh, eye-opening experience and it's still like that today because um, you're always learning something, you're uh, always seeing something different and it's always changing. big change on life. There's been many mornings where I've uh, got off work after something that happened in the back of the ambulance and hug my wife, hug my kids and are asking me what's going on and you know, it was the perspective that I got in the back of that ambulance. 